embarrassing. Okay, when I was a kid, I would write the endings for the cartoons that I would watch. So I would be bored waiting for the next episode. I would just hurry up and write it. They were very happy endings, dramatic, but happy. <laughs> like me, oh wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I get joy from words. I love reading, writing, the storytelling, their feelings, their sadness, the way that they love themselves and other people. You're able to literally be in their shoes. It's just the best feeling like, oh, I was there too. Like I lost my husband, you know? <laughs> like, as soon as I was able to like form sentences, I started writing my own stories. I ended up in foster care um, after I came out to my family. Being genderqueer, they basically said, you can either, you know, live with us or you can live your lifestyle. I was forced to think about things like my day-to-day -day issues, like where I was gonna sleep, who I, you know, how, was I gonna graduate high school? For a long time, I didn't write during that. It took me a very long time to rediscover writing. I had to relearn how to be brave enough to just say things. What you're holding back, what you're afraid to say is the most truthful thing you could probably possibly say. So I always try to write things that I'm afraid to talk about and afraid to admit to myself because I feel like that's what makes them the most beautiful, the most heart-wrenching. It makes you feel less alone. My dream is that I want a really big house and I want to adopt like maybe five to eight kids. I know, I know it's crazy, five to eight kids from the foster system. And I just want like a room where I can write, something that I can leave behind for my children. I feel like most of my queer identity has been me trying to write my own story. I'm very proud of where I've come from. I'm very proud of how I've taken care of myself up until this point. I'm rewriting a new story for like the chosen family that I'm trying to bring love to. Yes, I'm writing my own story and it will have a happy ending, period. <laughs>